Valentina, I can only imagine how frustrated you must feel right now. You know, you've tweeted it out as well, how, how you feel. But just, just for us now, just explain when you heard that Nico wouldn't be stepping on the scale and, and your reaction. Uh, it was very sad news for me. Uh, my manager, Roger, he came in the morning and he said, like, I wish I have a good news for you, but I have very bad news for you. And um, for me, it's like I start to think right after, like, about any replacement to do something to get me into this, this fight but um, the most uh, that I feel like I was telling about this um, possible pulling up from Nico from the very beginning and uh, for me it's like it seems it was her plan from the very beginning and to like to show up on the fight week to build her name up uh, to speak very confident about fight me with the media and then trying to, uh, to find any like reason to escape the fight because um, uh, she was uh, avoiding this fight already like for several times and actually it's my third uh, uh, preparation for this fight and um, now it's happening now it's happening that I was predicting like long time ago why did you predict that I mean you, as a fighter yourself why do you think of another fighter would want to build up a fight only to, to not be involved it's only because like uh, she was trying to avoid this fight as much time as she could, as she could. and uh, all this kind of confidence speak and she was mentioning about fighting spirit about character and I actually don't understand what kind of fighter spirit she was talking about yeah but, but I had this feeling and now we can see that um, now it's true. I mean, she obviously did have the the, tons, the tonsils removed, the adenoids. I mean, I don't know whether that factored into it whatsoever. But you talk about you were just searching. Is there another opponent? Was anybody offered to you either that's you know not already on the card or one of the the lighter fighters at 115? Uh, I know that UFC was conducting like uh, top five fighters from my weight class, flyweight division, and unfortunately, unfortunately, not one can make the weight for this time. So they was I know. That they was trying to fight any, uh, find any replacement, and they just could not. And uh, like, um, yeah, we had uh, a lot of options from 115, but uh, no one worked for yeah. this time. Yeah. It's like it's very frustrating, and more I feel so sorry for all my fans who was planning to come to support me for this fight, and I feel very bad for them, really bad. Of course, and look what happens now. I mean, has there been any talk, you know, as to whether they're trying to get you back in, back here sooner? Would she be potentially? I mean, I'm just making this up now, but stripped of, of the, the belt and an opportunity for yourself to fight somebody for a vacant title. I mean, has any of this been kind of said at all? You know, I I cannot. Uh, I don't know what you see we're gonna do now and what they're planning doing with Nico right now. But I know exactly that all her action right now it's totally unprofessional. What would be the perfect scenario for you now going forward? Mm, I still want to fight for the title. That's against her. What? I don't think that she will have the same opportunity for the next time. I don't think so. She um, never wanted to fight. She never wanted to defend her, uh, her belt. And now we um, like we see that all kind of spoke, all, all tokens that she had before, it just everything false. It's not true because a uh, real person who want to fight. Uh, she or he, they will do everything to avoid any like uh, um, problem situations that uh, they can have. And uh, you know the reason why I'm not believing that this, there is a real health issue with cutting weight because uh, she not looks like big for the weight, and she's uh, she made her weight very easily for contender series. She didn't have any trouble this for this one. So this is not real. Reason. Well, we'll look out for a statement from her, of course, and um, obviously hugely disappointing for yourself. I'm sure your fans will understand, and they'll be there next time, and we wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you very much.